1978, occurrence given to Raymond Aguilera on 18 January 2010. During the past week I've been asking the Lord for a confirmation on my painting, Global Warming. Over the past 20 years, many people involved in this ministry have experienced supernatural occurrences. Some call them miracles. Sometimes I've been in the company of others when they have happened to me. I guess through the years there have been many people who have not believed anything that I have said or written, but that is their problem. At times people ask me for words from the Lord, or the Lord gives me words to give to people. They are often shocked and do not believe the word or do not understand it. That goes for prophecies and visions, etc. I have stated many times these miracles or supernatural occurrences baffle my mind when they happen. Actually, I need them to help me stay focused on the ministry. The Lord is great, and this time he gave me two witnesses to experience the following miracle. Well, to get back to this occurrence, I kept praying for a confirmation on this painting. Days went by and I still sensed in the spirit that I needed to paint this painting. I went through all the usual spiritual warfare that followed. During this time, Ron Wiesman had come over for a 10-day visit. Ron came into this ministry about 18 years ago and lived with me for about five years. I was just about to finish this painting when I received a call from Carl Gustafson who asked if he could come over to test out his computer monitor. The problem with the monitor was that it could only stay on for about 30 seconds and then go out. Carl is the brother in Christ who helped me anoint all the countries around the world. I told Carl, sure, come on over. By this time I was ready to sign the painting and call it finished. I heard Ron let Carl into the house, so I brought the painting down to let him be the first to see the final finished painting. He was surprised by what he saw and said so. He and Ron gave me their comments and we all proceeded upstairs to check out Carl's computer monitor. I turned off my computer and unplugged my monitor and then I plugged his monitor into the back of my computer. After I have completed the wiring, I turned on the computer. To my surprise, both monitors turned on, and one could see the operating system on both monitors. As Carl and Ron were busy watching Carl's monitor, I said, something is wrong here. They looked at me with perplexed faces, not understanding what I was saying. Thirty seconds later, Carl's monitor turned off, but my computer monitor kept working as if I had not unplugged it earlier. I explained to the both of them, this shouldn't be. My monitor is not plugged into the computer. How can it be working? Naturally, Carl had to check this out. He looked at the wiring and he could see my monitor cable hanging in the air, while his monitor was plugged into the back of my computer. Now this is scientifically impossible and the hairs on my body began to rise. All the three of us just looked at each other with amazement. Naturally, no one could explain it. The working unplugged monitor worked for about three or four minutes. Actually, I used it to turn off the computer, and it worked unplugged. This was a miracle to me. Well, we tried Carl's monitor on another computer, and his monitor only worked for about 30 seconds on the second computer as well. No miracle this time, but this told me his monitor was broken. So here is this occurrence and a picture of the painting, Global Warming, below. These kinds of occurrences help me to stay focused on the Lord and do whatever He says to the best of my ability. The fear of the Lord becomes very real in my spiritual walk during these times. Remember everyone, obey the Lord, for he could do things beyond your understanding. God bless you all.